longest sub array with maximum bitwise and so this is a medium level question on lead code and i totally feel the same i'll be talking about the question as well as the algorithm by the presentation so let's quickly hop on to it question says we need to identify longest sub array with maximum bitwise and so there are two aspects in this question the first one is you need to identify the maximum bitwise and and then you need to identify that particular longest sub array so if i ask you guys then where will you find out the maximum bitwise and between any two numbers so that would be equal to the case where the numbers are equal with each other for example if you do the bitwise and of 3 and 9 then it will be obviously lower than the bitwise and of 9 and 9 similarly the bitwise and of 2 and 7 would be much lower than the bitwise and of 7 and 7 so what would be the bitwise and of let's assume 9 and 9 it would be 9 and what would be the bitwise and of 3 and 9 it would be equal to 1 what is the take away from this entire analysis the take away is whenever you have two numbers a and b uh, the bitwise and between these two numbers which would be lower in value than the maximum element between a and b so max of a comma b so remember this point and the algorithm is decoded how let's walk through few test cases to get a good hold of the algorithm so you have this array 1 2 3 2 2 so if i ask you guys where you will find the maximum bitwise and Uh, that would be the place where the maximum element exists where does the maximum element exist uh, it uh, it uh, exists at 3 comma 3 and since there are two such numbers uh, you can count the length of the maximum bitwise and which is 3 and the length of that particular sub array would be equal to 2 so there are two such numbers in co co consecutive nature therefore the answer corresponding to this array becomes 2 remember if you perform the bitwise operation with any of the elements towards its right or left uh, with, for example with this two or this two the bitwise and is gonna reduce since it's gonna reduce we can't take that as another possibility of answer this is the take away let's walk through the next possible case here we have the array 1 2 3 3 2 2 9 and what is the maximum element that exists in this entire array the maximum element that exists in this entire array is 9 and that would be the maximum bitwise and uh, although the length of maximum element 9 is only 1 but since it's maximum in nature it's going to overpower the rest of the elements that we have because there you will not find the maximum bitwise and as a result of it all these elements will be discarded and cannot contribute to the answer the maximum length of the sub array longest length of the sub array with maximum bitwise and turns out to be 1 in this case let's walk through few more cases here what do you see you see that the maximum element that exists in this array happens to be 3 and 3 occurs at two such instances one is this one and other one is this one since the length of consecutive 3s happens to be the same which is 1 1 in both these cases the answer becomes 1 let's walk through another case uh, here what what is the maximum element that exists in this entire array the maximum element is 9 and what is the length of consecutive nines that you see the length of consecutive nines that you see is 2 as a result of it the answer becomes 2 i hope i made sense to you guys and let's quickly walk through the coding section i'll exactly follow the same steps as i have just talked to conclude the approach the time complexity of this approach is order of n the space complexity is constant time the first thing that i have done here is to iterate the entire array and i have found out the maximum element that exists over here moving ahead i have created another variable which is count which will actually count the number of instances where the maximum element occurs number of consecutive instances and ans would correspond to the answer default value of ans has been initialized to 1 uh, let's start the iteration you start iterating the entire array so wherever you see that the nums of your current element the uh, the current element under consideration happens to be the maximum element you increment the count variable also as soon as you see it differs from the maximum element you reset the count to 0 once you have done this you compare the ans value with your consecutive count variable and you select the one which leads to the maximum result in the end you simply return that ans let's try this up 
accepted the time complexity i was already told is order of n the space complexity equals constant time with this let's wrap up today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel your subscription truly means a lot to me if you want to see more content from coding decoded guys please subscribe to it thanks for watching have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye